thank the gods we are finally home. <laughs> Igwe Olisa will be glad to have this head. I think we need another head. Dike, this is our kingdom. So whose head will you be needing in our own kingdom? It's a revelation of a conspiracy. A conspiracy? Yes. Against who? Gods of my land. Any man who wants to use my head for his food trust, his head will be used as co for his father's enemies. I can only arrange in here. Let's not move even a little. Come My beauty, let us go inside. Ikenga, lion of Anoba. Amadia, do not have to unwind this. You should have told me so that I could stop by at Uzomba's house to drink. Okay, please. Can I use your cup to drink at Uzomba's house? You cannot use my cup, Amadi. Ah. Okay, I can see you're not in a good mood. Let me take my teeth. Ikenga. Come out. My lord. I wish this journey could be left for another day. I know you're still worried about the dream last night. But I trust the gods. They will not allow the strongest warrior in Anoba to die. I will come back alive. I promise you. I wish you well, my lord. Thank you, my beauty. Prepare my favorite meal. I'll be back before sunset.
Tell him I said, I will not send this sound of warning again. I do not want any man to touch even a pinch of sand on that land. That land belongs to us. We inherited it from our father. Your words are clear, Your Highness. They shall get to Hugo Bika as they are. Good. If he threatens you, let their land have a taste of their blood. Kill every living thing on that clan. Yes, Your Highness. Good. Go well. Thank you, Your Highness. Be careful and may the gods meet you. Adaka, I never thought of it that way. If you ask questions, the gods will definitely answer. Are they going to come back alive? I see blood. I see blood on this soil. The blood keep moving. And the blood cannot be sucked by the dry soil. Is it the blood of our people? Is it the blood of the warriors? How many warriors did you send on this errand? Only three. DK, Ikenga, and Noka. DK. But you should have sent more men. Those three have gone on such errand before and came back alive. Your Highness. If those men are killed, Umoba will attack us on our ways, and there will be no one left. Do we make any sacrifice to the gods to protect them? We need to make sacrifice as fast as possible before they get Umoba. He will bring one white cock. Take my leave now. Go, Linus. have not seen such beauty in this community. <laughs> She's Ikenga's wife. Ikenga's wife? Yes, Your Majesty. She's from Amesi. I want to see her in my palace right away. As Your Majesty pleases.
I'm very well, thank you. Uh, the king will want to see you. The king will want to see me. <gasps> my husband! Now, is my husband okay? Your husband is okay, Abuma. I think the king has something to tell you. About my husband? Where is he? Your husband is okay. I don't know what the king has to tell you until you see him. The king has something to tell me. Yes. It's not about my husband. I don't know how to see the king. I should follow you. Yes. Uh, the king is inside. So I should follow you inside? Yes. The king is inside. I never knew your people have such beautiful maiden like this. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Have a drink. I do not want to drink. But your people like this. Yes. But I... I cannot drink on an empty stomach. Such a beautiful woman. That was not right, Your Majesty. No one tells me what is right or wrong. A few months ago, a woman raised her hands on me, and I beat her up and skinned her life. Just a few weeks ago, the woman told her husband what happened between us. 
and I'll bury that life. So you better relax. I said, I said, relax. Would they grow it? Why? This is not the way leading to Umuoba. I know. But we're taking right. A spy might tell them that we're coming. Kinga, how would a spy know where we are going to? I am not here to banter words with you. We're taking this part. I have a say on this one. I will not follow you to Umuoba through this route. DK. DK. The Kinga is right. We will use this route. Besides, he's our leader, and whatever he sees, goes. Dike. Dike. What are you doing? I'm not going to be a million of my Our king asks us to tell you to tell your people to leave our land. Go tell your king. He is a stupid and foolish man. He is a lunatic. His father slept with a mad woman. And he is the result of it. Tell him that. Just insulted my king. My king! Insulted our king. No one, no one insulted the great king Ulysses before the three warriors of Anuba in those three weeks. You brought her to my treasure then? He's speaking the truth. An insult to my king is like an insult to the gods. You stand before me to blaspheme the gods because of that lunatic you call a king? You say this around nonsense because of a lunatic. Opika. Opika. We will not condone any more insult on our king again. Did you just call me by my name because of that idiot? Opika, beware! You go, Opika. One more word against my king, I will kill every living thing in your hands. Are you not afraid to die? Yes! <laughs> Bring him out. Dad! You go, Bika. You go, Bika. Kenga, please. Please, you can go. Don't, don't kill me, please. Please. Do you please. still want to insult my king? No. No, I beg for my life, please. One more insult from you. Your head will roll on the ground. We will not live here without a human head. Dike, stop. Dikenga, don't ask me to stop. Dike, I said stop! These men deserve to be buried with their heads. 
for serving their king. We will not live here without a human head. Our king did not ask us to come back with a human head. I'm in charge. You must follow my orders. Let us go. the front. Why? The gate I am your leader. Be at the front. Did you say? The king has stopped us from coming home with a human head. After Igbo Bika called the terrible names. Ikenga, how true is that? Your Highness, you never told us to come back with a human head. Our fight over there was to protect your name. Protect my name indeed. Your Highness. I did not see any reason for human head. Besides, we are not in any battle with them. Ikenga, if you had not fought and won several battles, I would have said that you are a weakling. How could you kill his dad and you have nothing to show for it? I am sorry, Your Highness. I thought it was needless. Shut up, Ikenga. From today, you cease to be the head of my warriors. Drop the golden sword and walk away. Dike, Igwe, you are now the head of my warrior. It is an honor, Your Highness. Pick up that golden sword. You may go home and clean your body. Thank you, Your Highness. Oh, Your Majesty. If you ask me, I would say you were quick in your judgment. Fighting and killing the people of Umar because their king insulted you is enough act of bravery. But bringing back human head. It's a signal of war. Or how do you see it? Your Majesty, Ndukwe is right. We all know that if it was right for human heads to be brought, Ikenga would have come back with seven human heads, yes. if not even more. Yes. Huh? I have made my pronouncement, and that is final. It is only a coward that watches the kite take what belongs to him. Oh, 
is killing me. It is only a coward that watches the kite take what belongs to him. The gods have watched a kite take away what belongs to me. What has the king had done to demand his demotion? It is my decision to choose who becomes the head warrior. Father, why would you choose DK over Ikenga? The same Ikenga who single-handedly saved your life from the hands of the people of Ndeme. Ikenga who has led our warriors to so many wars and came back with victory. Father, this decision of yours is not fair. DK is capable of doing the same. He is a strong man. Father, I know there is something else to this. And whatever it is, it is not right. I am totally against it and I know the gods are too. Why did you not make the sacrifices as the gods wanted? But they came back alive. Your Highness, has that answered my question? Is it the God that wants to know? When a man decides to use the same finger he used in his hands to feed himself, it is considered for the saw you swimming in the pool of blood. Obara Ebenine. Obara Ebenine. Get out of my sight. Hmm? Oh. 
one evening. My name is Oh, oh. your king. Take it! And tell him that it is from the people of Umoba. Let's go. What is it? Igwe, the princess. What about the princess? Where is she? Speak! Three men took her away. Took her to where? Uh, my king, I don't know. But they gave me this to give you. My daughter's clothes? Uh, yes, my king. Umuoba have done the worst. Umuoba, una bagagwa kanodo. Someone near your hands. Yes. Get your men and search the bush and the forest. The men from Umwaba have abducted my daughter. I want her alive. Go now. Yes, your highness. Umwaba. Jalaka Wolum. Anything happens to my daughter, that war will last forever. Hmm. Your Highness, I want you to calm down. Nothing will happen to her. They know we are capable of wiping the entire Umoba if anything happens to her. I believe she's safe. Where is my daughter? We are sat the forest on the bush. And there is no sign of her. I sent you to Umwaba to bring my daughter back. Where is Ikenga? We are not talking about Ikenga. I want my daughter back, Your Highness. If we take this with strong hand, Princess Adizi will die. So do we fold our hands and watch them punish my daughter? We have to extend a hand of peace just for them to free Princess Adesi. And when that is done, we can then strike. Igwe Bika will never understand peace at this point. And that is the only way out now. Dike, Your Highness, get more men. Go to Umwaba and kill them all. If they refuse to hand my daughter to you. Yes, Your Highness. Mm -hmm. 
That's the best thing for us to do. and they refuse to release Princess Adese to us. We will kill everyone in the palace. Should we have done? We should have turned back when we saw that the palace were empty. We should have said that. Are you not the leader with the golden sword? Excuse me. Noka. You are a warrior of Anoka. Did you say behave like a man? Did we fight like warriors of Anoka when we were at Umoba? That is not why you should be talking anyhow on the road. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Move rock one as under snow came. Rapia and even you are welcome. Great warriors of Anuba. Anu, if he had gone with us to Umoba, this wouldn't have happened to us. Stop! What do we tell the king? The truth. Huh? Yes, the truth. Why are you nervous? Did you tell my husband anything? Did I tell him you let my father take you in? Please. I cannot explain how it happened. It all happened so fast. The king guy is handsome. He is strong. He is every woman's dream. Please. Did you tell him anything? Not yet. Then I beg you. Please. I love him. I do not want to be sent back to my clan. He's everything to me. Do not tell him anything. The people of Anokba brought a fight to us, and we slaughtered them like goats. Is my father safe? Yes, my prince. You need to see the fight. Mba and his men attacked them and killed three men at the spot. What a great news. Great news. We are not supposed to fight over what does not belong to us. Did your father not tell you that that land belongs to Anokba people? My father told me that the land was given to us when we helped them fight the people of Oboji. No one has ever helped the people of Anoba fight any clan. No one. Besides, they do not have any boundary with Oboji people. Don't kill me, please, please. I, 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 I beg you, please, please, please. I will not kill you. Only you shut up your mother for you. Stand up. Stand up! How do you mean he took you on a wave and killed three men? Now where is my daughter? Your Highness, we'll have to go back there with more men. You're stupid. I want my daughter here alive. Today! Your Highness, I have good news. Do you know how to free my daughter? Your Highness, this young man here, is the son of Ibu the prince of the land. Let us send words to Ibu and tell him that we have his son. He might let the princess go. He can guard the lion. Yeah. <laughs> Has anything happened to my daughter? I have no idea. I've never seen your daughter before. Shut up. 
I'll give your people until sunset to free my daughter. Else, I'll kill you. Please let me go, please. I beg of you. I know the land in question belongs to you. But I am not in support of this. God, take him to the cave. Now move. Move! Dike! Your Highness. Go back to Igwe Obika and tell him that I have his son. All right, Your Highness. You cannot go home now. If the warriors of Umoba see you, they will kill you. They are laying ambush, so I cannot allow you to go home now. You are not making any sense to me. I want to go home. You want to go home? You want to go home? This is the way. Go home. Where did your father keep my daughter? I told you I don't know what happened in the palace. I was in my mother's place. I will kill you. I will feed your flesh to the vultures if in two days your father doesn't release my daughter. I swear by Annie, I do not know anything about this. Please let me go. Please, I beg you. Two days. Two days. I beg you, please, let me go. I, 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 I do not know anything about this. Princess. A princess. Ah. We finally found you. My princess. We should be very, very fast on this path. Yes. I can never go back on my words of beheading the prince of Omoba if anything happens to my daughter. My daughter, did they hurt you? Where did you find her? We found her when she was almost in the mouth of death. I'm happy to stay. Your Majesty, now that we have found her, what do we do with the Prince of Umoba? I will still kill him to show his father that I am the man who is so loved by the gods. Your Majesty, this will bring war between our people and the people of Umoba. I do not care about what is right anymore. Your Majesty, but before we do anything, uh, I suggest we take Princess out of this place. Maybe to her mother's place. Till all this whole fracas is over. Please, Your Majesty, I think it's right. My daughter will stay here. DK and Noka and their men will protect her against any harm. DK, go and get more men and guide Adesa's heart. As you wish, Your Highness. <laughs>
What is going on here? We are guarding a beautiful princess from the enemy. I do not need this. We are acting on the order of the king. My father's order. Father! Father! <laughs> Father! Father! Father, I do not want those men in my house. My princess, you need them. The people of Omoaba are very crafty. Very crafty. They might strike any moment. Yes. If there is any man to protect me, not DK. DK is loyal and strong. He is the new head of the warriors. And I said I do not want him. I want Ikenga. I will think about it. Princess, this noise will keep our enemy from coming closer. Oh, yes! And I said I do not like it. We have heard you. What danger? I have these feelings that the warriors of Umoba are in this clan. Is that what you feel? Or the danger you're talking about? I just want us to be on the alert. You're right. But let's drink first. <laughs> ah! Bye, my, bye, my. The witch doctor of Omoba. Your Highness, I am here to talk. Ikenga. If you are here to beg me to make you the head of my warriors, you have failed. Your Highness, there is danger. The people of Umoba are... I do not want to talk about them now. Your Highness, this will save us from danger. You can go home.
Oh, he set. Thank you. And you can now go through the back door. Thank you. And he knows that I've played my part. I want to see you. Noka. Noka. Abu. Anonce. Obele. Obele, Abu. How could you be asleep while they beheaded my daughter? What is this we had? These useless warriors were asleep and my daughter was beheaded. She might still be alive. Don't try to use sweet words to suit me. We all know that when the people of Omoaba behead maidens, they sent her hair strands and clothes. Igwe Bika has done the worst. We have to kill his son, behead him, and send his head to him. That should be a good replacement for killing. Huh? Your father thinks he is smart. But I will teach him how to be ruthless. I will not only kill you, but I will cut your body into pieces and give your head to the children to play with. And finally, I will wipe out the entire people of Umoba. Wait, wait. You see, I don't think it is right for us to kill him here. Let us take him to the bush and kill him there. Or we go and kill him before his father. No. We'll be done here. Dike! What is the meaning of this? What is happening here? I, I, I don't know what happened. You are an idiot. It must be the handwork of our enemies. You are a clown. Now take him into the bush and kill him. Yes, Your Highness. Gather the whole warriors. 
go into Umuaba and kill every living thing there. Set the clan ablaze and bring back slaves. Good. Not too fast, Your Highness. We must slaughter them all. Yes. That is the only way this can be forgiven. Your Highness, Umuaba now have a strong witch doctor. We must prepare our men for a week before we go into battle with them. Then get our men prepared. Let them meet me at my shrine. What is this that I heard? Where? Where you will get her? Huh? I... Hey! 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 What is this that I'm hearing? Where is Ikenga? He is no longer the head of the warriors. I am. I did not ask who the head of the warriors is. But I ask, where is Ikenga? Here I am, eyes of the coast. With you, the men are complete. KJB ni mogu. KJB ni mogu. KJB ni mogu. KJB ni mogu. Now remember, from now on, none of you shall eat any food prepared by a woman. You shall not sleep with your wives. You shall not shed any blood of any animal until this ritual is complete.
Your seed grows inside me. Your Highness. What did you say? My husband has not touched me in a while. No one should hear about this. I'm scared. How could I have put myself into this? My blood stands as an atonement for my sin. Please, do not take my life, but punish me. Punish me for my sin. I have desecrated the land.
and dip your hand into the pot. You're not saying anything. Your Highness. You are seeing glows inside her mama. And you didn't tell me that. Yes, I did. I know you're not stupid to think that I left her untouched. The gods will not be happy. I know. Everything is not happy. My daughter is dead. And now this. Now, what do we do? I should be asking you that question. Let this torture cleanse me of my iniquity. Let this torture cleanse me of this iniquity. No man born of a woman can shed your blood in battle. In war. I have the gods. Ndokwe, no one invited you here. I'm here in the order of the king. What did he ask you to tell me? Can we talk in secret? Ndukwe, I have the girls. They told me claim to be a great singer. But not everyone understands what it says. But I have the girls. I can't understand you. Go. Tell the king that the girls are not yet done with the king. Go. I will go. Did you tell him I was the one that sent for Ikenga? Well, yes, I did. But the way he talks, it's like he knows you're up to something. He knows what? Actually, I don't really know, but he's, he was too witty. We need to seek other ways. Your Highness, if she dies now, it becomes double abomination. That means you've killed your own seed. I do not care. It is better I suffer that than to suffer the shame of sleeping with another man's wife. You know the implications of that. I do. Punishment or death. In that case, you have to think about it. You think about it. Abomma Abomma Oh, How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Have a gift from the king. Tell the king I received his gift with a heavy heart. 
Jumping up and down in the whole bush. This is my bush. Your bush. No one trespasses in my bush. Amade, you are no more a small boy. Grow up! Huh? Eh? Eh? Yes. Did I hear you say I should grow up? Yes, grow up. You are no more a small boy. Okay. I will grow right in front of you. I agree. Just watch. She's still alive. The poison did not work on her. I knew it. I knew it. What? Hey. There are many gods in our mercy. One must be protecting her. Hey, Igwe. I hope it doesn't come after me. Don't be a coward. Igwe, I'm a coward. I'm not a coward. Keep quiet. There are many ways I can achieve this. So don't worry. So far I'm safe, Igwe. You're safe. Many goals, always. Hey, I won't want him, I won't want him. You come to that camp. May the gods of our land not reject my spirit. I am... I know who you are. Ikenga. The great warrior of Anupa. The one whose name rings like the Uruk over the nine clans of Ime. What is your name? Apamma. 
Hmm. You're really the meaning of your name. Thank you. What brings you to Amesi? I am coming from a maternal home, Machina. The water is heavy. Oh, pardon me. Let me help you. No. What will people say when they see the great Ikenga with a pot on his head? Let me worry about what people will say. What matters to me is my heart. Let me help you. I lost my mother a few months ago. Oh, your father? He died a few days after I was born. I'm sorry. I was raised by my mother. It's nothing. You shouldn't be sorry. You want to come inside to have something to eat? Oh, no. I have to run along. Um, the sky is overcast. Very okay. well then. May the gods be with you. Thank you. Cannot stop leaping at the thought of him. Ikenga, Ikenga, Ikenga. For the very first time in my life. Leaves for a man. And who is that man? Ikinga. Ikinga the Great. If not that a warrior would not know when he will go back to his source. I would have asked you to stay by my side forever. Bring wine to my people. And I will stay by your side forever. You will marry me? I want to stay where my heart leaves. Hey. Thank you. Kinga, what have you done to me? That question should be directed to you. The great Kinga of Anuba now runs around the bush with a woman. <laughs> it's called love. Love has brought us to the right place. I love you. I love you too, great warrior. As it pleases the gods to bring us together, may their love shine upon us. You see? May their love be the light that leads us in all seasons. You see? And he said, I shall bring wine to your people tomorrow. My heart will be complete. <gasps> I, love you. I love you so much, Amon. My warrior. My kinga. <laughs> the great warrior of Anupu. <laughs> ah! Coming from you, I am fulfilled. God 
for me. God forbid that I take my life under the same tree where love was built. Such is the word that puts lofty men into enticement. What does that mean? Hi! Oh no, Ako! She's supposed to have killed herself. Hey! Keje ni mogu! Yo coco, que jenny mogu. Que jenny mogu. Yo coco, que jenny mogu. Que jenny mogu. Que jenny mogu. Yo coco, que jenny mogu. Yo yo coco, que jenny mogu. Coco, <laughs> Kejani Mogu Kejani Mogu No chop what it in it won't see Kejani Mogu Yon yo coco co Kejani Mogu Yo coco co Kejani Mogu Yon yo coco co Kejani Mogu Yon yo coco co Kejani Mogu Yo coco co Kejani Mogu I have the girls. I have the girls. Even the king is not permitted to come here without a notice. Forgive me, I was sent by the king. Please. What is it this time? The king sent me with these gifts for a king. The king is not the only warrior here. Why Ikinga? You know the king offended him moons back. I believe he's seeking a peaceful ground now. Ndukwe, is the king not aware that I am the only one to prepare what they will eat in this shrine until they leave? But the king of Panwai cannot harm him. I see. Yes. I think I can go now. Um, no way. Can you test it? Test what? Test the pan wine. It's specially meant for a king and not for me. Oh, specially meant for a king. Yes. <laughs> mm. I'm not aware of this, so. Hmm. Maybe it's, it's from the Panwai Papa himself. I'm not aware of it. No way. I have to leave now. Okay. Mm. <laughs> 
Do you think Adaka knows about this? Your Highness, I've told you that before. So, do we have to bring Ikenga here in the palace? At this point, we we'll have to wait until the gods and the Adaka are through with them. Warriors! Ani jeme ku na no pa o asari miri sanyo je miri bijuro Ani jeme ku na no pa o asari miri sanyo je miri bijuro Come. Yes, DK. Come forward. But remember, none of you shall sleep with any woman until the war is over. Go to the hill of blood. Tents have been made. Rest until sunset.
go and conquer warriors of Anupa. I of the gold. Thank you. You shall go and conquer. In everything you do from now, be careful. Do not allow your sword to be far from you. It is wrong to kill a kissman, but it is not wrong to kill a kissman who has the sword on your neck. It is called self defense. I'm a child of Amuta. Warriors of our land, I have good news for you. You go instructor, you come and die with him before you proceed. You know he's trying to eat before we get to the hill of blood. Could you refuse the king's order? I would prefer we do what the girls ask us to do. Uh, it's Shenduque. Oh? We shall die with the king. Now you are talking. Let's go. Down with Igwe before you proceed. Okay. <laughs> hey! hey. I am going to the hill of blood, as Adaka ordered. But as your king, I am ordering you to go home and rest. You join them tomorrow morning. Now remember, from now on, none of you shall eat any food prepared by a woman. You shall not sleep with your wives. You shall not shed any blood of any animal until this ritual is complete. I've heard you, Your Highness. Thank you. It is done. Nothing can stop a drunken man from making out with his beautiful wife. <laughs> Talk to me. If you do not sleep with another man's wife, this wouldn't have been happening. This evil would, would not have been following us. I will make more sacrifices to appease the land. And the war? I will ask our warriors to come home. The war will linger for generations, and I will never be your daughter again. 
Don't say that, my princess. Mm. I know I offended, but I will appease Ajani. With your blood. Answer me, Father. What's that noise? Sound of failure. You will be defeated in the world. I'm awake. I'm talking to my chief. Is that not the king? Did he sleep here? Yes, your highness. Greetings, Your Highness. Ikega, I told you to go home and rest. <clears throat> your Highness, other warriors are the heel of blood. I cannot go home to live with my wife. Ikega, you need some rest. You need to go home and get yourself some rest. Your Highness, I'm fine. Died. What happened? Who, who, who died? They have killed my Amandi. Amandi? Who, who killed Amandi? <laughs> but I. Ikenga. He was found dead. Oh. <laughs> Take us. Eh? I will come and see you immediately. I come back from the world. Oh, Amandi. But I, I thought I saw him. Was that his ghost? No, that must be his ghost. Yeah. Hi, Amandi. What kept you back in the village? The king's order did. And you didn't deem it fit to inform me as a leader? Maybe I should go back and tell the king that you're angry with him. Should I do that?
warriors of Anupa, it is time. that Ikenga is not an ordinary human. Something unseen to us is with him. Your Highness, there's another way. Which other way? I will go to the hill of blood with some guards and make him come. They might have been gone by now. But they will stay there every night until the war is over. I will reward you immensely if you Help me avoid the shame. Your Highness, you don't have to worry yourself. Dupe, I am worried already. I will definitely do something to bury this. Thank you. Don't worry yourself. Tell the king his command will yield result to his delight. Good. Wait for the result. I will not share this blood. The people of whom are will. Uh, 
I'm pregnant for you. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I said I'm pregnant for you. Tengo, take these to the village square of Umoba and drop this. Am I supposed to go there alone? You are not going to fight. But to keep this. I Tenga! can never do that. Then consider yourself an enemy of Anuba. TK. I don't think you're right on this one. I don't need your opinion. I am the leader, and the king here must respect me! Vicky, that was very unfair. Is there anything else going on that I need to know? We are here to fight. That is what is going on. If you are the ghost of who I believe you are, what is my name? Kenga, the Lion of Anuba. Amandi, why has your spirit refused to rest? I am here to help you. Give me the eye. What is going on? Go back to the warriors. Tell the king that you have done what he asked you to do. Thank you. Go. Come back. <laughs> Odoku! Odoku Moka!
They are close to the boundary. We have to attack today. Or they will invade us. that tree and make sure there is no ambush. What? We should have come with a hunter's talk. Do as I said. There is no time. Make sure this road is clear for us. There could be a trap there. We can always use another path. Noka! Stop sounding like a weakling! Cross this path unless you wrestle with me. We are men of Anopa. We have fought and defeated demons with seven heads. You can't stop us. Wrestle with me. Then you can pass. You the chief warrior. Wrestle with me. If you win, I will let you pass through here. I go. I'm not prepared. Kenga, fight her, finish her. And if I defeat him, if she defeats you. You would die by your own sword. And if I win you, I will take your head home. Everybody move back. King.
Men from my clan don't wrestle with women. Hmm. Such wisdom. Kill her! Kill her! Don't waste our time! Can we pass now? Go! Right now. Chief Warrior! Can we go? What did you tell her? Great. 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 We are going to Umoba through the three major roads leading to the palace. You, you go with the Kenga. You, you go with him through that route. Noka, you stay here with me. But I, I suggest. You don't suggest! Go now. Dike, two warriors cannot defeat the warriors of Omoba and the Bridge Doctor. Are you not the King uh, the Great? I was expecting you to go alone. Hanon, Kenga. Go back to the Hill of Blood and have some rest. Hill of Blood? Mm -hmm. You said we should march in group two. Umoba! Why send them to the Mount of Death? Anuka, I want to be left alone. Take what is going on. How could you do this? Leave me alone! Take Take This is not happening. Why is it taking too long? Your Highness, Ikenga is crafty. Dike might be finding it difficult to control him. Then go and make Ikenga the leader of the warriors and tell him I said he must conquer Omoba in two days. That would be suspicious, Your Highness. To be suspicious. I need to be left alone. Run us around now. Get out of Something is wrong with this plan. It seems we are being set up. Anunti. Ikenga. As long as Noka is there, another group will arrive from Oba through another route. Let us go. You don't need to be scared. You think so? You're with me. Come with me.
Brought fight to us again. Drop your sword or you die. I cannot drop my sword. I'd rather die fighting than to surrender. Not you can get some more. How did it get here? I don't know. I just saw it here. It must have come from the witch doctor. Does this mean the Kenga is dead? Maybe that is how it pleases the gods. Do not involve the gods on this decay. This is your own wish, your own making! If it's were from the gods, the Inke guy I know wouldn't die out there. Yes. Um, wow.
What could this be? Noka, what has happened, has happened. Dike, who asked you to do this? Why did you do this? What has Ikenga done to you, Dike? Take this to the king. Tell him it happened the way it was meant to be. Wait. Swear by the oath binding us that no one will hear about this. I swear by the oath. Can you go then? Should I swear by my sword? Then swear by the oath binding us. I need to be left alone. DK sent me from the hill of blood. Are you here with good or bad news? I do not know how you would bear this, my king. Speak. Kenga is dead. Tell them I received the news with a heavy heart. The warriors must be strong. Oh, oh. Welcome, Woody. I smell good news. <laughs> Take his armor to his wife. And tell her what happened. <laughs> I will do that immediately. So this is how it happened. Hey! Hey! Calm down. Calm down. My. Hmm? My. Just calm down. Do 
royal family agrees with you. No? Oh yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let me go, man. It's okay. to know why you did this to Ikenga. Noka! Enough of this madness! Enough! Do not raise your voice at me, Dick. One more nonsense from you! I'll ask the warriors to beat you up! What? You cannot do it! Warriors, beat him up! After beat him up! Noka, you can't help me! Yeah! 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 yeah. Uh, what? Stop! I said stop! I will leave this war for both of you. Yes. You were all here when he plotted the death of the kingdom. How can this war continue when his blood dips in the mobile? I'm 
sorry this happened. <laughs> I hear his body was cut into pieces. <laughs> My heart is as heavy as yours is. And clean up. Are you hearing me? Go in and clean up. The king has ordered that you dress in a royal attire because they have invited you for a feast. Tell the king that I will mourn my husband. We've mourned him enough. Go in and clean up. The king has found favor in you. And I repeat that I will mourn my husband. My queen. Your queen? I must mourn my husband for one year, Igwe. You have mourned him enough. We have mourned him enough. A new heart has been built for you. Bear my name so that when the child comes, he will have a father. My queen, are you alright? I'm very well with you. Do you want anything? No, no, no. I'm fine. Okay, I'm okay. Please come with me. Okay. Yes, I'm fine. Make sure you're fine. Yes, yes, I'm I'm fine. Ah, 
galaxy behind us a wall. We have to sit down. She has been in labor since midnight. What do we call that? She will certainly deliver. Sit down. Just calm down. Oh? I cannot hear anything. I want the ghost to send her. It's the mother and child, okay? Baby is not coming. We have to wait and see if the ghost have to do something. You have to try more. Please. Please. She's tired. I am tired. You have to go and ask the ghost. So precious. Hey. A wealthy man in this clan has shown a grave wickedness to another man. But I can speak. This wealthy man has seven plots of land. Three bands, flocks of sheep. But his brother, a poor fellow, has one she goat and one small plot of land. This wealthy man took the only goat belonging to his poor brother and killed it for the feast. Does this heartless man exist in this clan? His wickedness is grave. He deserves to die. You are the heartless man. The girls are angry with you for killing Ikenga and taking his wife. May the gods not send their rods on me. Adaga, will the gods take my life? What will I do to appease the gods? Seven white rams. Seven white doves, seven white cocks, seven royal beasts to be sacrificed at noon today. I will do as it pleases the gods. I have seen everything that will happen here in my dream. I'm not scared, for at the end you shall die. <laughs> DK, you are the one that 
I saw it in your hands with the blood of the kinsman, and you shall die! Ah, what have you done? Igwe must hear this! How dare you! Ikenga, Ikenga, Ikenga. I knew the gods will not watch this happen. I will not do that until Adaka asks me to. I want you to go tell my wife that I am still alive. I pray that the gods will give you strength to stay alive till I return. How is he faring? Girls are taking care of him. I wish this would pass like the new moon. Oh no. Remember to keep this secret until the gods have spoken to me. Even my first wife hasn't had it. But I'm worried. 
How would he feel now that his wife is living with the king? The gods are putting things in place. I will go and speak with the king. I want to ask him a few questions as the kingmaker and a beer of this clan. It's all right. Go well or no. Evoli, sir. You put shame on the spirit of the throne. You did not only sleep with another man's wife. You also plotted to kill him. Adaka, tell him what the gods say. You are banished. And you have nothing to do with this clan, even in death. And if finally you die, wherever you run to, your cops, I mean, your cops will not be buried on the soil. Take him. Take him away. Do not allow him to look back. I cannot watch you kill yourself. Stop Please it. let me kill myself. I'm tired. I'm tired. Let me kill myself. Let me kill myself. Why should you do this? Now that he can get your husband back. <laughs> Kinga. My husband. He's alive. Very much alive. I'm back. I swear by the gods. I swear by the gods. He can get your husband. The baby. <laughs> We need to plant trees in all our boundaries with other clans to avoid this kind of problem occurring again. Uh, my king, that is a very beautiful idea, beautiful one. But I am of the opinion that we recruit new warriors. Mm. Abaka, your highness, is all well with you? Your wife has given birth to a child. She is not my wife. Your highness, I am still talking. She gave birth at Otoman's house, but we lost the baby.
my king. Please, you have to be a man. Please. Your Highness. Abeka, why are you this happy? I have a surprise for you. If it's about my wife, I don't want the surprise. <laughs> yeah? My princess. The gods kept you. Yes, they did. Through the help of this kind man. Of Long live your highness. You are welcome to my kingdom. I have come to seek peaceful grounds. I want your people to have your land back. I do not want war. Hmm. You have spoken well. You are a good man. Have a seat. Thank you very much. Abeka. My king, he has something to tell you. I know it must be a good news. You two have agreed on it, haven't you? Tomorrow I will come with my father. For the marriage rite. We'll be waiting. Um, Abiz, I am sorry about the death of your father. It's alright. Adaka told me how it happened. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you when I saw your wife with my father. I have forgotten about that. But my king, you need to forgive me, wife. I said she is not my wife. Oh yes, she is. I know you still love her. Please, my king, forgive her. I don't forgive. What are you doing here? I have come to see you as my king. What do you want? I bring my case before you. Judge it as king. The late Igwe took advantage of my weakness. Weakness is not an excuse for adultery. Yet you are king. What is your judgment? Abom, I am not in the right position to judge you or the courts. My king, the king, I love you. I know I will live with this guilt for the rest of my life. But I honestly seek your forgiveness. Leave me sight. I wish not to behold your presence anymore. Please. All I ask is your forgiveness. Abom, I forgive you. I did love you. But some things are forbidden. Go back to your people and sing me well to your people. Oh, 
I believe the king. And throughout his life, Ikenga was a symbol of love and bravery. Tell us another story. No, not now. Now you go home and help your mother face a firewood. Hmm? Later, you all should come back for Moonlight Tales. Okay? Now get up all of you. So long. 
Mishinite, mpilato, kedukosi afutao